Got the top caps painted. And I put a last coat of paint on the uh, pipes just for decoration, flat black. And uh, now we're going to start working on the getting the aluminum rails out. Here's the aluminum rails, they're 13 feet each. Here's the rail I have laid out on the ground and I'm putting the rail connectors onto it. Here's the rail connector and here's the uh, bag of uh, two bolts and uh, lock nuts that uh, hold the rail connector onto the rail. And there they are. So the bolts just slide into the groove. More difficult to do it with one hand here. Eventually we'll tighten these down, but right now I just have them loose. Tighten down the nuts and we'll do that on the other end as well. And then we're ready to set the uh, rail. Here's the end of the pipe with the first rail attached. So these first two rails will hold four solar panels in a landscape orientation. And what I've decided to do is um, put these 36 inches apart. And then for the third rail, which begins the second row of panels. This will be 30 inches apart. We'll see how that works. It should be close. So 30 inches center to center there. And then for the third and fourth rail, which will hold the second row of uh, landscape oriented panels, we begin 36 again. So 36, 30, 36, and then 30 and it should continue like that and we'll see how the spacing works out when we put a few actual panels on and and uh, see if that's going to hold. So the rail connector is loose and we'll slide that out to 36 inches and uh, there's a specification for how tight to to take these u-bolts and um, honestly what I'm doing right now is I'm going a little bit light on that and I'm just tightening these nuts until the lock washer flattens because I am seeing some deflection in this aluminum rail uh, connector um, when I tighten these up a lot. This is where I said for the moment I'm going light on it. So I can do a little more studying on this, but I just tighten these down until those split washers are um, flat. And then we'll, we'll just hold it right there. And as you can see, that's even that is just putting a little bit of bow in the uh, rail connector right there. So that may be fine, but I'm just going to be cautious for a little bit until I figure out more to think about that. I had to relearn something last weekend the hard way again. These are the nuts and bolts for the rail mounts and these are the uh, various nuts and bolts for the in clamps and the mid clamps uh, that clamp the solar panels um, to the rails. And when these are perfectly dry, um, you can get galling of the bolt to the nut. And that's when you, when you tighten it down and then you go back to, to untighten it, uh, loosen it the nut and the bolt physically stick together. So uh, to prevent that, you just spray them down with some oil. So the thing about galling of hardware parts is usually when you receive um, or when you get hardware, uh, there can be a little bit of oil left on it from the manufacturing process where, the, where they were made. And, uh, but for whatever reason, these are come in these bags and they're very clean and dry so they're more susceptible to galling. There we go, got all the uh, microinverter hardware in uh, the bucket, cut out of little plastic bags.
tighten down on these with 20 foot pounds less 15% because it's lubricated. What I found is that this measurement changes a little bit as I move up and down the array because the pipes are not the same at the same distance at every point along the ray, array. So I'll just see how it's going and, and I'll adjust the measurement a little bit over time. But these should be symmetric to the center. And then we'll take this and set it up on these rails. Ultimately, these will sit on top of the rail, but to see how the measurement's going, I'll set them down like that and then slide this down until it touches and then come right over here and then you can see that little gap. So that's, uh, that's about right. So this is a very simple thing, but uh, you do it a lot. So here's one U-bolt, two nuts, two split washers, and two fender washers. So you take the split washers, hold them in your left like that, fenders in your hand, nuts in your left pocket, and U-bolt in your left hand. That lets you go a little faster with one person. The other thing I figured out is uh, kind of what my regular measurement is from rail to rail. In this case, the rail's going down onto a coupling. So what you do in that case is you just put it on either side as close as possible. This doesn't have to be exact. You know, the only issue is just looks. So here you can see I've got that one pushed up against the coupling. This one up here on the top is a little different because as the pipe comes down, you know, the couplings aren't in the same spaces. Okay, so one of the challenges uh, that I had was figuring out how to get the solar panels perfectly neat and square and lined up with the grid of rails. So the first way I did this is uh, you have to have a little bit of the rail extending out according to the instructions. So uh, my first attempt was to line each of these in four panels up precisely off my two starting rails, which um, were starting points for my posts going in that direction. So these were lined up and then I figured I put this next row and this next row in line with this that that would give me a pretty good straight line going down come this way but uh, it didn't take long before I realized that this block of panels was kind of steering uphill and by the time I got down here I had an extra inch and a half over where it began so then I spent about two hours kind of readjusting all the panels to try to get them down so this was not working well so then, uh, over last week, um, I decided on a different approach. Come up close. So to start this, what I did is I put these in mount uh, in connectors and I just clipped that onto the very end of the post and then I have a two by four laying here. And then I'm laying the panels up against that. And you can see I'm doing that all the way down the line and I'm doing this first row of solar panels. And that will give me one good straight line, which I'll shim out and get nice and even. And then we'll do the next rows up. And I think that's a, probably for me gonna be a better approach. Now in my case, because I had already started these, and now I'm matching into it, I just needed to shim this up a little bit to make it match with the other ones. So it turns out these little plastic pieces that came on the solar panels are about the right size. So I'm putting those in there, got the two by four, and then this is lining up fairly good. Before I bolt these down, I'll go through and tighten this up and get everything lined up the way I want. Then the plan is, we'll put the connectors on the top, kind of continue on up, and then the very last thing I'll do is I'll take out these two by fours and put in the end connectors, the end clamps on this. But if you could just walk down and we'll take a look, you 
see how I'm doing the same thing with the two by fours. So naturally what you want to do is when you go to the hardware store, you want to try to pick out the straightest two by fours you can without bows in them for obvious reasons. So far this system's working much better for me. Our dog Brody. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess we'll pause for a bit. All right, so here we'll mount the um, rails. I'll show you how I get these aligned. So right now I've just worked out the measurement that I want coming off the side of this. So I get that set where I like it. And then we'll snug down these bolts. take uh, my big mega angle iron which is made out of wood so it's a wooden angle iron Completely finished getting the first row on. So as you can see I've got the 2x4s along the bottom. I'm using that as kind of a guide rail to get uh, the first row started. And I'm using these paper shims along the way to keep everything evened up because there is some play in the 2x4s and the alignment of the rails. So I just put in these shims periodically to keep everything lined up nicely. There's one right there. there I had to put in three. Quite a few in that one right there. And at each corner they're lined up fairly well all the way down so with any luck that's gonna be a nice straight run for me and I'll just be able to put the second third and fourth rows on there and hopefully we should be moving out here real fast now to maintain the proper spacing as we go up, I'm going to try to use these uh, little cross pieces that I made. They slide right in there and we'll see how that works for keeping everything aligned and separated as we go up. I'm going to make the cross spacers out of this uh, ruler. The first thing we'll do is cut the ruler in half. I'm going to cut a notch down through uh, both of these, about halfway, a little more than halfway. What I want to do is uh, make this notch so that it's just about as wide as the ruler is, so I have to go a little tiny bit wider. We'll 
push those together just like this and uh, glue those. The last thing you do is you take the cross spacer that you just made and you glue a piece of wood on top of it. Here's one with some scrap. And the wood on top will keep the cross spacer from falling through. Yep. With eyes actually on. Yeah. Good. Look at that. <laughs> it locked up. See that cardboard? Like that. It's hot. Oh, I do. 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 I do.